Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Tyler Ruggie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I wanted to give you guys an update on my bird, Gypsy, because I haven't made any videos about my birds in a little while. Want to throw in there that Gizmo is doing completely fine, like Gizmo is thriving. I just wanted to give an update on Gypsy. This issue started quite a while ago and that was she began to pluck her feathers. Now this is an issue that a ton of bird owners see, but a lot of bird owners I feel like don't necessarily think they'll ever see their own bird pluck feathers because oftentimes feather plucking is seen in birds that are neglected. And just usually when you think of a bird plucking, you think of a bird that's been like neglected its entire life. But neglect is not the only reason that causes a bird to pluck. Typically birds pluck because of some sort of stressor, but the cause of that stress could be a multitude of different things. And the reason why I didn't talk about Gypsy's feather plucking up until now is because I didn't want to talk about it until I knew what was causing it and like how I was going to fix it. I didn't want to just like come out and say like, oh, she's plucking and I have no idea why and then have people just assume. When I first noticed she was plucking, I freaked out because the very first thought was like, am I not doing enough? Like, am I neglecting her? Is she unhappy? Like, what am I doing wrong? Because obviously I've had her for a few years now, never had issues up until now. Nothing has really changed as far as like the attention I give her and how often I'm around, like I'm still home all the time. So I'm like, what was causing this? Like I was genuinely so concerned that it was me and that I was doing something wrong. For a little while there, I was not doing well because I was just all day just thinking about Gypsy, worrying about her, like just stressing out over what was causing this for like two or three months straight. So I want to get into why she was plucking, what I did to kind of stop it from happening, because this has been something that I've been dealing with since I think March, but I definitely want to share it with you guys. I have a lot of bird owners that watch my videos, and even if you're a bird owner who takes wonderful care of your birds, you still might run into plucking. And plucking is something that some birds are more susceptible to than other birds, like African greys, cockatoos, and macaws especially are notorious pluckers, and even if you take wonderful care of them, sometimes they just pluck, and it's so stressful because you don't know why, and there's a lot of different things that can cause them to pluck. So let's go back to when I first noticed that she was plucking, which is about March, I believe. It was kind of hard to tell at first because what I first noticed was she had areas of her like around her neck, her down feathers were showing. So I noticed that she was losing some of her exterior feathers, but her down feathers were there. And there's a couple spots that looked like a little bit bald, but I wasn't really sure. So my first thought was like, oh, maybe, like I was of course researching it and I was like, what is causing this? Like, is she plucking? Cause I just jumped to the worst conclusions all the time. So I was like, are you plucking? And my first thought was that maybe it was just like a molt because sometimes birds just have like really harsh molts where they'll have parts of them that just look a little bit more exposed. Usually they shouldn't look bald when they're molting so that was why I was alarmed. But it was around the springtime so I was like maybe she's just going into molt and losing like a lot of feathers for some reason. I really didn't know. Plus birds are really hormonal in the spring and sometimes female birds can get hormonal and they can pluck as like a nesting behavior or just from feeling like hormonal during breeding season. This is just stuff I was reading online. So I was like, maybe it's just springtime plucking and she'll get over it. But anyways, what I did was I started by purchasing a calming supplement that I... Okay, thank you for pulling my hair. Um, so I started by getting a calming supplement that I sprinkled in her food and water that is supposed to help birds that are stressed out and just help calm them. It was just like a natural supplement that a lot of people gave really good reviews and I used it and didn't notice anything. I used it for honestly probably a couple months and didn't notice any changes so I ended up stopping using it. I took her to the vet because I wanted to get everything checked out and this is when I started to like really doubt that it had to do with the springtime. So I took her into the vet because another thing that can cause bird plucking 
is like a vitamin deficiency or just any sort of health issue they could be having internally could cause them some sort of discomfort that could lead them to plucking. So of course I took her to the vet, just got a general checkup, told them, you know, I suspect plucking, like please do blood work and do whatever you need to do, test whatever, just check her out, make sure everything's okay. They literally just said everything was like completely fine and normal. So I was like, okay, cool. Like they did a fecal, they did blood work and they just did a general checkup and everything was completely fine. So I was like, cool, kind of happy that she's completely healthy, but also was kind of hoping you would find an issue that would that was like causing it, you know what I'm saying? Like I wanted you to know what was causing this so that we could work towards fixing it. But it was kind of frustrating that it was like, she was healthy. Not that it was frustrating she was healthy. You know what I'm trying to say? Like really glad you were healthy, Gypsy, but like I was hoping that we could find what was causing this. But we couldn't. So then, basically what ended up happening was over time, that is the fire alarm. I'm just going to put Gypsy down for a second. You need to like decompress for a second, Gypsy. So, yeah, basically, basically, I was doing all kinds of research online, talking to different people who know about birds, literally just trying to try every single thing I could. Like I was giving her a plethora of toys. I was trying to get her to do like foraging toys and I was making her all kinds of things, trying to keep her occupied, just do whatever I could to like make sure she was so busy she could not focus on plucking. I even tried getting a collar that like goes around their neck and it like blocks their feathers so that they can't pluck but it was like hard for her to move around and navigate and she never really got used to wearing that and it really stressed me out having to like put her on it and she really didn't like it and I was afraid it was making things worse so I stopped using that after a couple of days. Like I said I was making foraging toys for her and just giving her all kinds of things trying to rotate toys out more frequently like every few days just giving her new toys whatever but she wouldn't touch her toys she wouldn't touch her foraging toys, which is extremely unlike her because she usually loves her foraging toys, or at least some of them. She chooses which foraging toys she wants to forage with and which she doesn't. But anyways, she wasn't using anything and it was just so frustrating because I was like, please work with me, Gypsy, please do something. I was looking at products. I went online and I came across this product, which I'm going to say I think solved the issue which was Pluck No More by King's Cages. So basically Pluck No More is like a homeopathic, uh, like herbal, it's a liquid. You put it in their water and you have to use distilled water and you also put it in a spray bottle and you spray it on them a few times a day and it discourages plucking. It's supposed to help calm them down and just overall help with any behavioral issues your bird might have. So I went online to buy this and I went to kingscages.com, bought it straight from them. By the way, King's Cages made my bird cages as well. People ask me about my bird cages all the time. King's Cages, love them. They make great products. And this isn't sponsored. They're not paying me, none of that. But I went and I ordered this and they sent me an email because I've talked to them before so they know who I am. And they were like asking me about what issues I was having. And they were like, if you post before and after pictures of your bird, we'll just send you the pluck no more. And I was like, okay, cool. So they did send me this free of charge. I am going to say that, but they did not pay me to say anything. They did not tell me what to say. Like this is not sponsored by any means. I am genuinely telling you about this product because I think it worked. And they literally just said like, if it works, post before and after pictures. And if you go on their website and go under their Pluck No More, they have a bunch of different success stories of people using this product. Literally people who have plucked themselves, people, literally birds who have plucked themselves practically completely bald and started using this and it worked and their feathers grew back and they stopped plucking. So I was like, okay, like I'm gonna try this. And at first I was a little bit skeptical because I was like, how is this just a miracle product that stops your bird from plucking? Like, I don't understand. But I tried it and at first I wasn't noticing a difference, but a lot of the reviews say that sometimes you have to go through like one or two entire bottles before you actually start to notice any difference. 
and you have to be really consistent, do it every single day. And even when their feathers start to grow back and they're not plucking anymore, you still have to be persistent and keep doing it until their feathers are like back again. So I was persistent, I kept doing it. And over time I did notice her feathers started to grow back and I noticed she was not plucking anymore. And I was like, holy crap, I think this is working. I think the reason Gypsy started plucking in the first place was because we moved. So if you guys have been around, in around January, I started to move from my old house to this current house. And it was like a really long, stressful moving process. Like it really just sucked. We had so much crap to move here. And we did it over the span of a couple weeks. It was just really hard and super stressful on me. And I think birds can often pick up on the stress of their owners. We did not finish moving until the very end of January, beginning of February. And then it was March that I started to notice like little bald spots on her. That was another thing I was thinking in the back of my mind that maybe it was the stress from moving that caused her to start plucking. And also a lot of the times it is pretty common when you move to a new space that if birds are for whatever reason just not comfortable with the new space or they're just like not used to the environment, things like that and just environmental changes can cause them to be stressed enough to start plucking. That was probably why I don't think it's a coincidence that we moved into this house and immediately after she started plucking. So I think that that is probably the reason why. If any of you guys have to move and you have parrots, don't. Or if they start plucking, don't be too hard on yourself because it is just extremely stressful on everyone, including the birds. And birds are extremely intelligent. They can pick up on that stuff. And they can be just as stressed, if not more stressed about moving than you are. It could just be that she started to get used to this house and she stopped plucking. I'm not gonna lie, that could have been it. I will say I didn't notice a difference and she did not stop plucking until maybe a month after starting to use this. So I would heavily consider this a possible reason why, and not to mention there are so many success stories with this product. Another point that I forgot to bring up when I filmed this video was that, like I said, usually some sort of stressor is what causes birds to pluck. So in my case, I think the stressor was us moving. But in a lot of cases, even if the stressor is taken away, like if Gypsy gets used to the house and isn't stressed about it anymore, or if the bird, let's say, is getting neglected, and is plucking and then is put into a situation where they are no longer being neglected. In a lot of cases, the bird will still continue to pluck just because it becomes a habit for them. And when it becomes a habit, it becomes more difficult for them to stop plucking because it's like, okay, I took away the thing that's stressing you out and now you're still plucking. So in cases like that, products like Pluck No More can be really helpful for helping them break out of the habit. So another scenario that could have been the case is the moving process stressed Gypsy out. She wasn't familiar with the house. Maybe she got used to it after a few months, but was still plucking out of habit. And then when I started using the pluck no more, it could have just helped her break out of the habit. So I just wanted to include that as well. So even if the stressor is taken away, sometimes you want to try other things because it will become habit in a lot of cases. So just wanted to throw that in there because I forgot to mention the fact that plucking can also become a habit. So I just wanted to mention the King's Cages pluck no more because if you have a bird that is plucking, and you've tried a lot of things, then this is definitely worth a try. As you can see, if you look at, oh, Gypsy, oh, what are you doing? Um, you're such a strange bird. As you can see, she does have like patches of down feathers that are exposed. Um, <laughs> Gypsy. And those are pretty much the spots where she was plucking before. So a big spot was like around her neck and then there are some spots at the tops of her wings and then a little bit on her chest. So her exterior feathers haven't grown back yet and they often don't grow back for quite a while. Like it can take up to a year, sometimes even longer. It just depends when she molts again and hopefully at the time she molts, those feathers will grow back. She does look a little bit uh, silly with her down feathers showing, but her exterior feathers should grow back. They just haven't yet. Now that we've kind of like solved the issue and kind of figured out what was going on, I wanted to share this with you. I think that's about it. I just wanted to give you guys an update on Gypsy. She's doing great. 
Gizmo is also doing completely fine. So I'm going to go ahead and make more bird content and let me know what you guys want to see as far as bird content. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this update on Gypsy. Hope some of you maybe found it useful and we will see you guys in my next video. Isn't that right, Gypsy?